welcome to Seen Through Glass and welcome to a very, very, very miserable and very wet Scotland. This is a, this is officially Storm Diana. It's just horrible. It's not not fun to not fun to film in, and I think I just went through a river. Anyway, let's uh, get to the point. I'm in an Aston Martin Vantage. I think most of you know this is one of my favourite cars currently for sale. And yesterday, quite out of the blue, Aston called me up and said, would I like to spend two days in a Vantage? So I was like, yes, yes please, because I've hardly spent any time behind the wheel of one of these cars. So any opportunity to do so is one I want to grab. Um, I think I might be lost. Essentially, Aston had one of their Vantages in Scotland, which they wanted back at their factory. And rather than sending one of their usual delivery drivers to do the job, they said, would I like to do the honors? And I was like, yeah, six hour drive and advantage, why not? They then said, whilst I was doing this big drive, could I do them a couple more favors and swing by some of their suppliers to pick up some parts for the production line. So yeah, it, it seems as though I've given up the YouTube job, taken on a new job, I'm an Aston Martin delivery driver. I have to say, I don't think it's that bad because I'm sat in a beautiful Vantage, but this, this weather is pretty grim. Anyway, um, I'm first headed to Bridge of Weir. They are uh, the UK's real sort of leather specialist and they provide leather for the majority of Aston Martin interiors. So we're gonna head there, pick up some bits for the production line and then continue our journey south in this, in this quite stunning and now very wet Vantage. So this is the, the colour spray booth or the colour matching bespoke booth. Uh, so when a customer comes to us with a unique bespoke colour, this is where we, we try to do the, the initial matching. Um, so basically what happens is we, we get given the sample or maybe it's still your socks. I was going to say, do I hand yeah. these over now? <laughs> when, does, when does that happen? Yeah. We put it into the, the colour reading machine and basically what that does is come up with a recipe to achieve that colour. Um, on that recipe, the, the guys will then take the pigments that you can see on the wall behind me, they then uh, match that, that recipe and spray it out onto the hide, onto a sample that you can see there. So wait, that's, that's been sprayed or that's no, not? That's not been sprayed yet, so that's getting prepared uh, to be sprayed by okay. Cole, uh, who you can see in the back, who's actually mixing the pigments as, as you see just now. So that's like a base colour? So that, yeah, that's what we call pure aniline. So what's, that has actually just been dyed. Um, okay. So it's been dyed, dried, it's really soft, supple, but it has no protection over the A surface or so no pigment. So this is, we've dyed it as close to the end customer colour as we yeah, can, okay. but the, the final pigment coverage will get it to an exact match what the customer's looking for. This is a finished article now. Went through dye, went to the initial matching, went through dye, went through the finishing, went through final testing, it's been passed off by final inspection, and it comes to our cutting plant. This product itself is actually known as the as spicy red. Um, spicy red. Spicy that, that, red. That yeah. describes it pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a really, really bright color. So that's a. It's an Aston Martin color. Or that's a match to a customer order. This is an Aston Martin color, but okay. what you can do one from the matching that you've seen, we would still get it through in the same way. So any matchings from the customer bespoke palette. They can come in, give us their matching like your socks again, yeah. <laughs> and then it reaches us here and we'll cut it into their individual car. So we've got full traceability of the um, cut parts all the way back to their initial matching and then all the way through to their final car as well. So this product itself is from the Keith Ness range. In that Keith Ness range you've actually got over 170 plus colours for Aston Martin. As well. in standard colours? That is their... <laughs> Well, that is their full colour palette. At well, any one time they'll have maybe 32 colours or so on their dealer wall that you can okay. pick from. But if you go through their Q division, then you can choose any of those colours that you want in your car. Is that standard? Is that is that more than a lot of other manufacturers? Like That just That's, sounds like a ton of colours. It's a lot more than any other manufacturers. Um, the most that you'll see in kind of any other manufacturers is about maybe 15 standard Whoa. production colours. So Aston Martin have got the level of bespoke kind of Increased right up, sure. to, right up to the bottom.
Right, let's see, this is the test now, practicality of my delivery vehicle. Yeah, like a glove. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much. I You're appreciate the tour. I probably need to. Uh, let's close this up because I've got a deadline to meet before uh, yeah, Aston start getting cross at me. But thank you so much for the You're tour. Welcome. Great You're to welcome. meet you. Yeah, Absolutely. I appreciate yourself. it. Hopefully, I'll be back up soon yeah. getting some custom leather for I don't know what. But yeah. Right, see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye. incredibly nice people. I really feel like I learned a lot this morning and now sitting back in the Vantage bathed in this bridge of weir leather I'm like oh this is lovely and I also know that this is not embossed this is natural grain see. I have now completed I, I guess job one of the three jobs I have to do today I have collected the leather parts for the Aston production line. I now have about a five hour drive south to somewhere called Vortons in Birmingham they make the badges for the bonnet and I think just the bonnet nowadays on Aston's but anyway the badges for Aston's um, I think the weather's getting worse it looks all right okay now but I'm headed that way and there are some really dark horrific clouds in front of me and on the radio they keep talking about this storm Diana and gale force winds and things so I'm not really sure how this drive's gonna go uh, but I'm just gonna put my head down and enjoy being in this super luxurious interior I, I hadn't thought about specking a Vantage like this uh, when I originally uh, specced up my dream car I sort of had a very black and Alcantara type interior but it's really nice this leather oh I'm getting so carried away I love when people People can sell things to me so easily. I'm the ultimate consumer. I'm the kind of guy that, you know, whilst I'm in a petrol station, if they're playing James Blunt, I'm like, I'll take that CD. So now I just want, I want Bridge of Weir Leather on all of my cars. Uh, anyway, yes, uh, let's not get lost, Sam. Uh, where's my sat nav? I'm gonna go left. Uh, let's find the motorway and crack on with our journey. <laughs> This really is. Safely. Sorry, the petrol station is talking to me. Uh, this really is grim weather. I'm um, sorry if I'd have been you much footage there of the drive down from Glasgow, but it was kind of end of the world rain and wind and actually quite scary. But anyway, the Vantage is holding up well and it's dry. It's not that great on fuel. It's probably my only negative thing I would say about this car. Because yeah, it does seem to churn through the petrol, but maybe that's because I'm constantly in Sport Plus mode going through the gears because it sounds so good. Anyway, yes, a bit of fuel and then. Uh, Crack on, we're not far, about an hour now from uh, our next stop. Finally, somewhere dry. I have now made it into a very convenient parking space at Vorton's to check out the Aston Martin badges that I'm collecting for the production line. However, I have learned on my way here that I'm not just going to be collecting badges, I'm going to be making them as well. Uh, Nick from Vorton's is apparently going to be walking me through the sort of production line, showing me the process, and apparently I'm going to be getting hands-on with it. Anyway, inside, it's so warm, it's so nice in here. Right, Nick. Uh, please explain what is about what manly activity am I about to do? Right, so we're in the press shop and this is where we start the process, the whole process of making the badges, how it goes from this into a finished front plate, that's the Martin badge. We're already halfway through the Stanford process. This one uh, presses out the Vantage badge. Okay, nice. So it's relevant, very relevant, very relevant at the moment, yeah. So it's already gone through half its processes. So you'll see on this one, there's not very much detail, it's slightly rounded. We need to keep going, it takes about 14, 14 blows, it's about 14 blows at 300 tonnes per blow to get the full detail look that we want. So, while you're here, it's probably best if you have a go at doing it, I'll show you what to do. Uh, are you um, sure? Do you have plenty of space? No, this is fine. This is, fine. <laughs> this is where we'll hand over to you okay. to have a go and see if you can do it. I see the emergency stop yeah, yeah, button. That's there that's there that's well, it's yeah. all, it's yeah. all become very familiar with the emergency yeah. stop button. I've got the Red Cross outside ready as well, so uh, okay. Amazing. it 
through to the enamel room because the Aston Martin badges aren't painted or spray painted, they are glass enameled uh, to make them look so damn pretty. So uh, I've just had a, a, a go at, at burning off the sort of dirt and dust that might have been left and now I'm going to have a go at actually enameling. This could go horribly wrong, my hands are not the steadiest in the business but uh, I've been trusted with, uh, oh I'm about to be trusted, thank you very much, with an enameling pen. I haven't held a fountain pen since I was about seven, so wish me luck, people. It's like ice cream. How much do I want on the on the pen? Like, is that too much? That's fine. That's fine, yeah. like that. Okay. Oh, my hand really—that that looks very uneven to me. My tour and my, my learning of badge making over. Um, was I any good? I wasn't any good, was I? Well, time will tell. Time will tell. Yeah. tell. <laughs> anyway, I need to collect this yes. badge for the production line because I'm running a little bit behind schedule. But this is the one? This is the one. So this will be for DBS. Oh, DBS. DBS. I didn't even know what Carl was okay. collecting for. There you go. That's a proper. That's a proper one right there. Okay, I'm gonna hold uh, that very. Do you, can I have a, like a little? I'll get you a bag. Yeah, because we'll nice so you can't trust me with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is another one that we're gonna give to you. Oh no um, way! Hopefully, it will go on to your new vantage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't troll me like that. Oh, but still. Hey, look! If I haven't got the whole car, at least I got the bag. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm 16th of the way there. Well, 30. So I don't know what I'm there. But anyway, mate. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Let's package these up Cheers, safely, sir. and then I'll get my way. Appreciate it. Cheers. the sun has to come out just as I have to give this car back. I have now arrived at the Aston Martin factory and I cannot believe for the 45 minute drive over from Vorton's I had blue sky, sun and blue, freezing cold sun and blue sky but still ridiculous. Anyway, oh is that a, oh there's a V600 in the car park. Oh there's lots of whips in the car park. Right I gotta go and find the production line because um, that's that's the end of my job really isn't it? dropping this car back and dropping the stuff to the production line so yeah or maybe I should take some photos first yeah sneaky some just do some sneaky photos before I have to really give it back This is like the kind of place that I should be dropping off leathers. Excuse me, are you Tina? Yeah. Oh, I think I, this is for you, I think. Oh, oh. This is my, I've delivered this now. That's my job oh, done. Thank you. No thank problem. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I think this is where I'm dropping off the bad. Sorry, are you Tom? I am. Tom, this is, I believe, for you. Job done. <laughs> <laughs> 